Hello everyone, uh, this is Russell Lowe speaking and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a, a model in SketchUp and bring it into this environment. Uh, you can see that I've got a little vehicle that I've placed in here and thrown a few more trees into the, uh, in the environment that we've been working on so far. Uh, I'll show you how to do those two things as well. Uh, the first thing you need to do though is go to uh, playuptools.com and to the download center and get the latest build uh, so download that and install it in uh, SketchUp uh, so let me open up SketchUp uh, you can see uh, nothing much changed except for these uh, uh, useful um, uh, buttons here this one especially the check normals button uh, go plugins play up and preferences and I think you might also need to uh, go into uh, preferences. Yes, go into preferences and uh, turn on play up uh, under extensions. Um, go OK, and then that will show you play up uh, in the plugins folder. Go into uh, the preferences, and we need to tell play up where to send the model, and we're using. Crytek CryEngine 3 so make sure you've got that selected uh, and then go into the CryEngine 3 settings and we have to do two things we have to set the model export path and we have to set the path to the um, RC RC stands for resource compiler so let's do this one here first we're going to um, send those models or the models that we export into our electronic arts Crytek uh, into our arch1101 underscore low folder that we've been creating into the levels folder uh, which is in game and then levels and this is the one that we've been working on so levels low demo 02 so that's where we're going to send all our models to um, we might even create an objects folder inside there uh, and go Okay, so let's just double check that that's all there. Yep, so it's going into that, um, uh, into our game, f or into our um, project folder, into uh, game levels, Arch 101, low, la la la, 02, and then objects. So this next one, we need to go back to the same place, uh, pretty much, into the C drive, program files, x86, electronic arts, crytek. Arch one low, and then into the bin. So this is the folder that we've been using. Into the bin 64, uh, 32, into the RC, and double click on that RC. Okay, so that's what you need to have set up. If you don't have these set up properly, this will send your models uh, somewhere else, uh, and you won't be able to access them. And uh, if you don't set this to the RC, then you won't. Uh, it won't create the fo files that you need to put into the game. So we go save and exit. Uh, go OK and OK and we're ready to go so we'll, um, actually we'll leave her here just for a second uh, just so I can get a sense of how big the model is so we're looking at something uh, like a shipping container size um, I'm going to quickly uh, make a shape and then maybe make something like this like that and then maybe um, some holes in it so we can see the uh, shadows passing uh, through see the shadows passing through it and see how that affects it lovely uh, and then maybe I'll put something up here like like this uh, and make that transparent um, okay so we've got an object now we need to um, texture it uh, so what we want to do there is create or we'll use some standard materials but we can also create uh, let's try this actually Let's put the whole thing in brick 
and then uh, let's make this one uh, colors and red and then let's make that all red too and do some red around here this will be interesting to see the bounce uh, light effect and then uh, translucent let's go into translucent class blue Oop. I don't really want to do that, let's just make that transparent in both those sorts of directions uh, this might look a little bit funny in the game actually but uh, we'll, we'll take a look and uh, then actually we'll create a um, a new texture as well, one of our custom ones. So use a texture image. I'm going to go to here and uh, into the courses folder. I've got uh, some drawings. Let's uh, put a motorbike on it and uh, change that to one. OK and uh, let's put that Well, that's interesting. It's um, using the transparent uh, settings. We don't want that to happen. We want that to happen. Okay. Then let's create another one. Uh, texture image. Use texture image. Let's get the Pantheon on there too. Um, oh, go OK. And then uh, what do we want to put there? Boom, onto the back wall like that. Okay, um, so there's a the model. Um, I'm going to triple click it, hit the G key to make a component. Uh, call it Russell Test 01. Uh, let's call it Russell Demo 01. Uh, go create. So there we go, we've got ourselves an object. What I'm going to do is create another object. I won't mess around so much this time. Uh, but um, the reason why I want to create another one is because of a wee glitch in uh, a wee glitch in a play up where uh, the models don't show up correctly in the um, in the browser. So, uh, let's put the Pantheon on this one and then maybe that one and put that, oh, just on that face. Um, so we're going to um, uh, create a uh, pair of models, so then when, uh, oh, well I'll show you in a second what actually happens um, and why we need to use why we need to use a pair so triple click it, hit G go Russell uh, Demo 02 uh, now you should use names that are specific to your project and specific to uh, and specific to um, Uh, specific to the type of work that you're creating. Sorry, I just had to uh, jump out for a second. I thought maybe one of the hotkeys had uh, stopped the recording. Okay, so now we've got these two objects. I'm going to click on one of them, right click and go play up tools and export selected geometry. Uh, you get two windows that will flash up. Uh, the first one creates, oh, you didn't see them, they're off to the side. Let's do this one. Uh, right click on it, play up tools and export selected geometry and a couple of uh, black windows sort of pop up and uh, then disappear really quickly again. Um, let's go into the game uh, again, uh, into CryEngine 3, go into the geometric entities tab and uh, hit reload. Now I have to hit reload because I had the editor open at the same time. If I had this closed I wouldn't have to hit reload. Uh, open up the levels and you can see that I've got two 
objects in here. Now, this is a little bit hard to show you because it's off the screen, but you can see in the object preview down here, uh, it's not showing up. And I click this one, and it's not showing up. But if I click back on that first one again, it shows up. And I click back on the second one again, and it shows up. So uh, this is what we need to do. We need to click backwards and forwards. Um, oh look, I've spelt my name wrong. That's uh, that's excellent. Uh, you need to click backwards and forwards until they show up in this uh, preview button. If you don't, then uh, then it gets a little bit awkward. Um, so we'll just drag and drop this one into the world. And you can see it's snapping uh, to a grid. So I'm going to turn that off. So now if I hit the one key, I can make it move around wherever I like. I was hoping I might be able to fit through that gap. And uh, then I'll go back to the geometric entities and click this Russell Demo 01. And we'll put this... Whoop. Sorry, it uh, went off uh, somewhere else. Let me just drag that into the world there. And then uh, this is a nice trick. If you've got move, select and move, uh, selected, you can hold shift and control down at once and left click and it brings the object exactly to where you're clicking. Um, so that can save a lot of uh, messing around. Uh, there's our objects in the environment. Uh, I'll just lift them up like that. Go control G to drop in. Uh, roll the mouse button to get rid of my gun. Now you can see we can look through the glass and you can see the uh, you can see the uh, trees through that part of it. You can also see that uh, the red is actually casting some... Oh, uh, time of day is changing. Uh, it's probably changing a bit too fast, I would have thought. Uh, you can see the red is changing the... Uh, or having an effect on that white material. Uh, and then there's our other object and we should be able to fit... Oh, no, can't quite can't quite fit through that hole. Okay, um, so this is part of what we're trying to uh, test and figure out how we can, uh, sorry I'm moving around a little bit, but uh, by hitting F1, how we can actually uh, engage with the architecture. And I should, I should have gone up a little bit. Uh, let me get myself over the top of it and whoop, fell through the hole. Uh, so I should have been able to walk all over this thing as well. Hang on. Whoop. Oh yeah, I can move, I can fit inside it just. Okay, there's also a, a couple of settings that I'll get you to um, test. Let me turn the time of day, change that back to kind of midday. Um, in these objects, they give you a uh, warning saying that there's no surface properties. If we open up um, a sign, if we open up the material editor and click on this uh, eyedropper, we can click on the um, model and it'll take us directly to this um, uh, directly to this uh, material setup. That's these are all the textures that have been used on the model. So if I uh, select this one, I can say that it's concrete, and this one, I can say that it's, I don't know, fabric, and this one, there should be a glass, uh, there's glass here, and uh, this one, let's call that one concrete, and finally this one, let's call that one concrete as well, and the only thing that this, actually, let's save that, why that jumped to another material um, but now if I jump into the world and I'm not encouraging you to do this but uh, if I shoot this thing now it'll come up with textures that uh, maybe the glass will so I'm not sure if you can hear sounds and things like that um, but you don't get the irritating uh, error message that says that there's no materials assigned and uh, it also, when you break it, it gives you these different uh, textures um, that are, that are context-specific or material-specific. Uh, 
okay, uh, that's really all I wanted to show you in this um, in this tutorial. Um, give that a go, and uh, thanks for watching.